undocumented Mexican immigrant. I am part of the 11 million people that get often forgotten, that are not mentioned, and are the first one to pay for the decisions that the majority makes. I was born from a Muslim immigrant father and a poor mother with disabilities. From the moment of my creation, I had the predestination to be everything you hate. My genes mixed and mingled in my DNA to make me gay. Add that to my Arab female mix. So from the moment I was born, I was destined to be your enemy. My fear is not Trump. My fear is the system that gave rise to Trump. I'm 43 years old, and I don't see much change from when, from when I was a child. Um, after Trump got elected, I seen all these protesters, and I'm like, well, what the hell? Why weren't these people protesting when Hillary, you know, became the Democratic nominee? We often wait until it's too late to actually come together and create change. Mm -hmm. And then some of us want those who have been oppressed for such a long time to come stand with us when we're ready. Good always outweighs the bad and that we are here to make sure that we're gonna hold President Trump accountable. It's even hard to say it. Every single day uh, of the year. Having grown up in middle school and high school under eight years of George W. Bush, I know for sure that I wouldn't have run for elected office or become an activist or get involved in issues of social justice or racial justice if it wasn't for a president that was trying to embed the U.S. Constitution with discrimination. And so what I imagine will happen over the next several months and several years is that we will have a new generation of young people and people in general, a new generation of activists and elected officials get involved in local government. And that's what I want to see from uh, each and every one of you in this community. I have been fighting all of my life to be fully me in a world where you are not supposed to be full of so many complexities. So I'll take my intersection of identities to create the biggest army of love you've ever seen. Louder than a million guns firing at once. Don't look too long. Your eyes will burn like the sun. We need to look the whole picture at the whole picture. What is it that is going on? It's not either or. It's everyone or none. That is how we make change happen.